My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Undermine. Time to quickly pick up all of these. No reason not to. Obviously, Pat the dog. Uh, ooh, hang on. We actually do have something to learn here. I was so certain that we wouldn't. Loyalty reduces the cost of shop items. Neat. I'll take that. Down here, we'll pick our Relic. Crippling Poison, Resurrection, Lava Walkers, Hoodie's Pillow. I'm going to go with the King's Crown. Just increases swing damage, throne size, throne speed. So we have like a direction to go with this. Also, I do want to see uh, if I can get Queen's Crown in this run as well. Should be fun. Hmm, which of the familiars do I want to take? Because I don't necessarily want to take Jin again. Jin isn't like exciting. It's Spirit and Sylph both have the ability to break the game. Jin has the ability to get me more of these... Uh, more of the secret rooms that have chests in them, that have thorium in them, and the thorium's garbage. Only really going there for the blueprints they can give me. Uh, okay, is there anything that leads me towards a certain thing? Reduces the cost of shop items. Well, that probably makes having a potion person a little easier. So we're going to be focusing heavily on that potion build, on that potion life. If we can get an extra potion in here, well, first off, what we got to do in here is... Perfect. Potion. Hey, we do actually get one. Ghostly Ica. Lovely. So we even start with two potions. Damn, that's going to be good. And down we go. So how can you use the potions to have like an effective break of the game? Or how can they contribute towards it? Because the effective break of the game they can contribute towards easily is... Oh my god, good work. Uh, is ridiculous duplications. We'll come back and check that later, just to see. Is ridiculous duplications. Is duplicating a lot of gold. Duplicating a lot of... You might come back for that later as well. Okay, is duplicating a lot of gold, is also duplicating a lot of food so you can get more rerolls. Uh, bottle pilfer is rare. I guess trying to get to 999, 999, sorry, just 99 bombs and then swapping those into keys and having the keyblade. Or alternatively, just make sure that I lead myself with an allotment of actually particularly good ones before I go into a boss fight. So, like, increase throne speed, etc, etc, something else, something else. So, I have been informed that apparently the Doom Blade increases damage both to your melee and your range. I'm very, very glad to hear this. I'd like to get a Doom Blade, if at all possible. I think I know where the second secret room is now. I've also uh, had a little bit of the mystery around Shogul spawning uh, uh, taken off of my shoulders. Weird way to phrase that. But I now know more about the ways to spawn Shogul. So apparently Shogul has a base 10% spawn chance. And then every time you pick up a minor curse on each floor, he has 5% extra chance to spawn on that floor. Uh, a major curse is 10% extra. And a blessing is 5% less. So using a shrine to get a curse and a blessing is nothing. It does it has no effect whatsoever. But picking up in that secret crawl space we found two minor curses in there could be helpful. So we're gonna have to make sure that we don't visit the exit before we have all of the curses. Well, I'll tell you something is really annoying about this run. I only just realized what blessings we spawned in with. Triple craftsmanship. So now my gold integrity is 100% rather than 95%. Two of these craftsmanship bonuses don't actually affect me. <laughs> this I hope is something that's gonna be changed because it's bad and it's not good. Gold integrity, like upgrading the thorium, the, the, the gold sack outside of the game seems like a bad idea. A bad value proposition if you have craftsmanship unlocked. I kind of almost want to have like another save file that has everything except for craftsmanship and surgical kit unlocked. 
Because, yeah, they're only two small parts of the game, but, like, you know, the craftsmanship is actually a little bit more important, I'd say. Hmm, both of those were increasing shop costs. Fine. Be picking up buffs on both of these. Reduce the cost of shop items. Ooh, uh, throwing damage. I probably got thrown damage, thrown speed. Oh, we do have gust unlocks, so I can now go thrown size as well. Uh, dynamism is no longer a blessing, so we can't just get bounces, unfortunately. That was ridiculously powerful. I understand why it's no longer a blessing. Oh, hang on, there is gust. Throw attack size. I actually don't need the increased throw attack size as much as I need the increased throw speed right now. Good. I have a pretty good guess where the second secret room is, but I'm not going to go and check it. Just in case I'm wrong. So we should have a 20% chance for Shogul to be spawning here. No Shogul. Not a good first floor, not a bad first floor. That's the secret room to the north, though. Told you. Oh. I hate that secret room. It's so, so useless. I have once or twice, I think, in my entire life... Uh, ouch. Once or twice in my entire life, I've managed to use that slightly effectively by picking up the fire buff and then using that to solve a fire puzzle. But fire puzzles are another part of the game that I have consistently argued. I don't even know about the design of that one. Oh, hell yeah. Salamander Tail, what up? Permanent fire buff. Really hope the shop is unlocked. Because I have just realized that I've used my only key this floor before I get to the shop. And the shop is the place where I want to become most powerful. Okay. I suspect here, but I'm definitely going to check all the rocks in the room. Yep. Okay. These ones too, thank you. If either of you would like to spawn in the right position, we can get all this done. Oh! Oh, that's true. That is adjacent to this. Interesting. Sorry, I thought, wait, why do I have three secret rooms? But no, it's just rediscovering the first one. Yep. So I need not have wasted a bomb on that if I'd spent a little longer exploring the four. We'll see. I'll definitely take the 10% up for Shogul spawning. We'll see. I can burn that with a swing. Because I might need this bomb for something else first. Like a bomb that gets me another bomb. Or even a bomb bag. A little bit of an order in consideration. If I had have burnt that food, uh, it would have died because the spikes had already dealt one damage to it. And burning deals three. Wait. All's well so far. Thankfully, the shop is open. Much appreciated because I'm going to need to start using it to start getting keys to make sure that I never miss a shop. There is a transmute. Good. So we can guarantee some keys here. Well, look, that's gold doubler. You don't turn down gold doubler yet. This early on, you definitely don't turn down gold doubler. Start removing curses though. I don't know about that. Because blessings don't get stolen by the pilfers or anything like that, this also means that if you find blessings on the floor, like, after... Oh, no, no, no! No, I checked the exit room! Damn it! Before I got my 10% up. That's my bad. Uh, 
it does mean that if you find any blessings on the ground, so things from bottled pilfers, maybe secret rooms, obviously not shrines because they give them directly to you, just anything you set for shrines effectively. Uh, if you find them on the ground, you can just ignore them until after you've checked whether or not Shogul spawned. And in fact, should do that. I don't want to go for the curse removal at the same rate. Fine. Hey! It hit exactly the one I needed. Perfect. Transmute. Those are both duplication things. We take both. And then the key and then run. Got some food one space up. I got a little bit more gold to pop on this floor. And then we leave. Lovely. Pretty sure we died last run to Mortar? I think we died to Mortar like right before killing Mortar or we killed Mortar. And then we, ah, uh, we killed Mortar and then we died in the start of the dens. Right, right, right. Yes. Never mind, never mind. I finally actually remembered. Good lord, I am very glad that I got a keyring last floor because yikes. Trying to check a rock at the same time didn't manage to, but still worth trying. Let's check the shop first, actually. twice at altars is pretty good. It's pretty good. Four bombs for chance to hit on chain lightning. And 40 health for a key. Yup. Happy to take both of those. Pleasure. Absolute pleasure doing business with you. So why do I like chests? Any particular reason? I guess because I can duplicate if any basic items come out of them. Uh, if I have Cellar Raid, the peasant has a chance to find an additional potion in chests. So chests in a bottle is pretty good for that reason. Chest gives me... Uh, sorry, potion gives me a chest, which gives me a potion. Could continue from there. All right, we'll come back to that later. We don't know what we really want in that room yet. Same with the shrine. High chance of critical strike? Well, that one doesn't really get turned down. Ah, the blessing! Dang it! Of course, I forgot. Uh, for some reason, I wasn't even thinking that that was a blessing. I guess because it's a blessing that I don't particularly value. Explosiveness increases your bomb damage. I also just lowered my own chance to find Shogul by 5%. Although I did pick up a major curse as well, so I've also increased it by 10%. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to need to start popping some of these potions for no real reason. That was pretty good, but all chests are empty is awful and needs to be... Uh, I need to not have that. Wait, do I have Tenderfoot? Why am I taking damage every time I jump? I do not have Tenderfoot. Guess I was miraculously just constantly running into enemies. Check for the secret room. Okay, no secret room now. One more chance to find the crawl space for me. I'm afraid that for not finding it for me, you have to be killed. Had you found it for me, though, I also would have killed you. That didn't stop us getting our Shogul. Also, by the way, we shouldn't have gone into that room until after we'd completed the rest of the floor to see if we got anything else. <laughs> Ordering considerations, Ryan. Okay, 
Didn't think that was actually going to be able to round that hard corner. Thank you for the extra potion. I'll use that one. The one that's likely least useful. You don't even, like, every run have a use for floating on air. You're really going to need to spawn up this top side. Otherwise, this ain't going to work. You know what? Secret room's not there. And I still managed to get hit. Wow. Good work, me. All chests are empty, and that's not already open and empty? Uh, it makes me suspicious that, uh, that maybe that's a mimic. Mm, let's go back to the shop first before we do anything here. I think I'll also pick up a couple more curses and then use the ghostly Ica. Let's get our blessings. Increases throw range. Fine. And then crit. Maybe I should wait until I take something from Shogol before I use the Ghostly Ica. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Temporarily increases throwing damage. Temporarily increases attack speed. It doesn't seem to affect our axe, which is fine. That's what I wanted. Oh, deal even more damage when you crit. Perfect. All right, we've uh, we've got a uh, throne crit build. That's what it looks like we're going for here. Sounds excellent to me. Uh, so throne speed is going to be the most important thing to continue upgrading. At that rate. There's nothing I was leaving in any of these areas for later value, I don't believe. Alright. Sup, Shogel? Apparently, branding bomb is real bad. So it was uh, it was explained in the comment section to me, and uh, much appreciated to those of you who did. Uh, what the branding bomb does, and that's if I blow it up in a room with enemies, then it will mark them. Uh, any non-boss enemy will be killed in ten seconds afterwards after having been marked, and I will take ten damage for every hundred HP that's been removed, which seems ridiculous. I'm take glass cannon. I now take damage each room for... Uh, I now take damage for each of my potions each room, which means I spawn to the next floor. I'm about to take... I think it's five per potion, so 25. Uh, I obviously cannot do that. Uh, so I'm going to ghostly Ica and then descend. Take my lumps when I enter a new room. Obviously can't go south. Trying to get the ghostly Ica to heal me through this. Seer's blood. Yay, another bomb that I don't really want. I guess I want Seer's blood more than I want... No, 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 but I, I have the, the Salamander's tail, so there's no reason to take Seer's blood. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Gotcha, bud. Old chests are empty. I mean, at least it's not a great one. Take that before going on because I am terrified about our HP. How did I take damage to that? Oh, I'm sorry. It was the it was the damage of entering the room. I just wasn't thinking that was what it was from. Mm. 
I'll tell you exactly what happened there. Oh, we didn't even leave the GD dungeons? Are you kidding me? And we had to be exactly over 20 minutes. How dare you? Well, look, it means that there's nowhere to go from here but up. I'll say that. Uh, effectively, what happened there is I was focusing on Bobo and looking at Bobo while trying to kill the enemies in the rest of the room. So I didn't necessarily notice that they were lighting up uh, at the time. And then as soon as I started taking damage to them, I panicked and then thought, oh no, I need to clear another enemy off the field so that I have space, a safe area and hit another one and kill myself. That is the effect of Glass Cannon, right? You can make so few mistakes. Oh, we even managed to kill the Bobo. I'm very glad that we stalled on this final end screen for just a moment to explain why, yes, I'm bad, but it's okay. I'll be better in the future. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been, oh, well, I guess it was a speedrun. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next speedrun.